Hey guys, it's finally time to draw the very first month in my brand new Shop Amanda Rachley bullet journal and I'm super excited to get started so let's just do it! So for the theme this month, I'm going very wintry, but not Christmassy, of course, because December is over and we're starting a fresh new start in 2021 in January. So I'm just writing like a quite typical New Year's quote, but in Swedish. And the meaning of the quote is you are the writer of your own book. So make it a good one. So for the colors this month, I'm using a light gray, a black, and this blue shade. And I really, really love this shade of blue because I feel like it gives a cold and wintry feel, but still it's bright, so it's just a nice pop of color in the journal. But to keep the wintry theme without uh, it being like holiday, Esque. I'm just drawing these trees and I'm making them gray and black like some of them are a little further away and some of them are closer and also these flying birds and I really love these little birds they are so simple but yet give like a feeling of freedom I think so you will see that being something that I will draw more on the other pages of these spreads. And then I'm just writing January on the right side and I'm making borders around the two pages just to add something around there to not make it like really empty and stuff. And also the trees on this side as well to make it cohesive and of course the little birds in the sky. Now for the monthly calendar and as usual I'm going to have my YouTube and Instagram growth tracker in the bottom left corner. I just write down how many followers I have in the beginning of the month and at the end of the month. Uh, I feel like it's a good way to track your progress or if you maybe need to change something up if you're losing a lot of followers. But of course if that's not something you care about and that's not important to you then just skip that part. But for the monthly calendar itself, I'm just doing my classic layout, but I'm making the boxes a little bit bigger, so they are six by seven dot grid spaces. And to decorate this page, I really wanted to bring back that beautiful blue, so I'm using it to draw circles in the boxes for each day and date, and I'm writing January on the left side. And then I thought it was perfect to draw the gray and black trees on top of the calendar because there was some empty space there. So you can just like scribble around a little bit in a shape of a tree and it turns out really great when you are done with all of them. So even if it doesn't feel perfect right away, give it like a few more trees and you will see that it will look really nice and it's super easy to draw. And also, of course, some birds in the sky to keep the theme cohesive. For the habit tracker page, I'm just writing my habits in Swedish and I'm using both a black and that blue color. And then I'm just doing the traditional little trackers. I have uh, how often I see friends, when I take my vitamins, when I work out, wash my hair, uh, flower, like a flower care, no, when I water my flowers and when I upload on YouTube. But of course you can put whatever habits you want and even though your hand hurts a lot uh, <laughs> writing all the dates out in every little tracker, I think it's so worth it because it's so easy to track when you have all the dates written out. And to bring back a little bit of cohesiveness with the cover spread, I'm doing a border around this page and some little birds.
I wanted to continue the whimsical theme that is on the previous pages with the trees and the birds, so I'm uh, writing out my mood or my well-being at the top, and then I'm drawing this deer. As you can see, it's not a realistic deer, so I really recommend you sketching this out or following uh, the drawing I made, because it took a little bit of time to both have the right amount of little triangles and boxes because there's 31 days in January so I wanted it to be 31 boxes or pieces of course to fill in and then I'm just writing out the numbers of the days in every little shape in the deer and choosing the colors for each mood at the bottom. For the weekly spreads I'm doing one week per page so I'm drawing seven boxes on each page and in the left bottom corner uh, on the left page and on the right top corner on the right page I'm writing out the whole month and like circling in what week it is just to get a really quick overview of where I am in the month and my journal when I flip it during me filling it in and stuff so I'm doing these boxes and the dimensions are 8 by 12 to be able to fit um, seven boxes on one page and I'm decorating the empty spaces with either some birds or some trees depending on where on the page there is free space so on the bottom of those shapes I'm just writing the week number and on the top I'm using that blue to write the initial of the day of that week. Sometimes I feel like it's hard to explain what I'm actually thinking, so I think it's easier to just watch what I'm doing, uh, and then I will hit the important points <laughs> with the talking, like for example the dot grid spaces and stuff. And I'm doing the same layout on every week, so I'm just speeding this through so you don't have to watch every second of me drawing the same boxes but I really really like this layout because I feel like it fills out the pages really well it doesn't leave a lot of empty space and stuff and I really like that use of the space that's in the journal For the last page of this month I'm doing my memories page and I'm writing the month's memories and here of course my little pictures from my phone that I print out every month are going to be when the month is over. So here is the final flip through of my January 2021 bullet journal setup. I really like how it turned out. I feel like it's so wintry and it feels free and like a fresh start exactly like the new year should be. And let's really hope that 2021 gets a lot better than 2020 has been. I hope you're all doing well, but I feel like we have to just push this through and we will be so much more appreciative of the things we actually have when everything's over. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.